A-N-Y-U. I'm Ari Carpenter, a music producer and engineer, uh, entrepreneur, who's going to be applying to the Clive Davis uh, Institute of Recorded Music for 2017. And I've, I've been producing music and um, engineering since uh, the eighth grade, um, primarily using Ableton Live and uh, trying to experiment with the sounds that come into my hands. So lots of, lots of the music I make is experimental and I try to make something that you've never heard before but you can still relate to and still make you dance and feel the emotion that I put into it. So I'm going to give you a few examples of some of the work that I've done. And An example of some of the unique sounds I use with my productions is um, in the track Other Places featuring Ben Hoxter. I used a bunch of found items in my house and recorded them in a condenser microphone, such as a skateboard being hit, a match being struck, a skateboard wheel, a pen hitting a table, and a, a slap on the table with the bass boosted, and I used it to create some drum sounds which sound really unique. We worked together to write the lyrics and the melodies, and it ended up inspiring an entire EP, which we finished. We released a song on an internet label called Stylus. I love to use field recordings and unique samples in my music because I often feel that what I create is a reflection of my atmosphere and where I am in the moment. Another important element of my sound is all the time that I spent studying jazz bass. It's taught me a lot about music theory and the different roles that instruments play in a song. Studying jazz has taught me a lot about melodic and chordal improvisation. This has helped me a lot in the studio. Studying jazz has also given me plenty of opportunities to perform. I play in a gr many groups, but most notably the Oakland Future Trio, which I've been playing with for six years. We play music in the classic jazz vocabulary, but we also play contemporary songs that we love. These opportunities have given me a lot of insight into what it's like to be a professional musician. I've learned a lot about organizing and promoting shows and managing groups. Most of the money that I've made from the shows I've used to invest in recording equipment. I bought a new audio interface and a few DIY microphone kits that I soldered myself that I'm very proud of. Initially, it was a struggle for me to balance my bass and production studies, but after a while I learned that both fields really do help each other, and I find that most beats I make nowadays feature some sort of live instrumentation. Now you go through St. Louis, Joplin, Missouri, and oh. Body, who the fuck let all these ghosts in? You can't open up when everything's steady closing in. Having problems with myself, never cry, had to cope with it. I have been interning at Wildwood Recordings as an assistant engineer for about four years. It's given me a lot of experience in learning about how to treat artists in the studio, how to place microphones, and how to run a tape machine. Having the opportunity there to work on a real recording console really has helped my mixing as well. I've had a few opportunities to produce my own tracks there, but I've learned a lot about the traditional nature of a producer, working with other artists to make their songs come to life and laying them down. Now I'd like to show you a few examples of my work producing for other people. It's okay. It's alright now to lose your way. She'll be your lighthouse of where you stay. Discussion, someone tell me the discussion. I'm trying to get to the money, yeah. I'm trying to get to the honey. Uh, I need that check, tell them running, yeah. And if you ain't talking about money, uh, then what the fuck is that discussion? The I know that attending Clive Davis will give me the connections and knowledge that I need to be successful in the music industry. 
Thank you for watching my creative sample.